Hey, welcome to Ghost Prime Reviews. I'm back. I haven't had a video in a little while because, you know, life happens. But I'm back on track, and I want to take a look at the Generation 1 Insecticons, the original ones, not the deluxe. Uh, these ones were released in 1985 and were updated uh, Diaclone figures. They all have places for Diaclone drivers in their chest. So they are piloted mechs and Diaclone. They're also very different colors. Now, these ones first appeared in the Transformers cartoon in the episode A Plague of Insecticons late in the, I believe, the first season. On the tropical island of Bali lies an ancient and mysterious expanse of watery jungle known as Demon Swamp, where a strange new form of robot now stalks the unwary traveler. Food approaches, approaches. They were activated much earlier than the original Transformers. So they developed the ability to pretty much eat organic matter or anything and uh, transfer that to energy. So that actually is very useful to Megatron. It's actually a really cool trait to have. They were a separate group of Decepticons, not technically under Megatron's rule. And there were three of them. And they're all separate. Uh, they all have individual powers, sort of. Uh, this is shrapnel here he has a kind of electric power of electricity bombshell he could uh he, he could take over people's minds and then kickback he has really strong legs so he kind of gets the shit into the stick but they're all very cool i absolutely love the way these guys look in insect mode they're not super like accurate to insects they look very robotic and the chrome on them really really makes them these things are an absolute lovely set now one of the things about the insecticons is they were originally the first troop builder you could just buy as many of these as you possibly can because in the cartoon they can make copies of themselves uh which is pretty interesting considering kickback here supposedly perished in the movie but then after and then next season season three he did show up again so maybe it was a clone and as for the boxes, they came in smaller size boxes since they are smaller size figures. And this uh, is the only box I have here is Bombshell. Uh, so this is kind of what it looks like. See uh, artwork here. Love these Generation 1 artwork on the top. Transformers right there. Then it has this scene on the back since they were later. Uh, they came out in 1985, not 1984. And they have a tech spec inside the box i don't have the insert for this thing anymore but you can come with a mail away catalog comes with the original catalog set of instructions and since it was 85 these were not colored and a sticker sheet now this one's partially used the bombshell i am showing here is not the one that went with this box that one unfortunately perished uh due to being thrown off my second story balcony um many years ago about 10 years ago uh, not by me but that's a look at the box. So let's get into the figures. First off, take a look at Bombshell and his gun. He comes with this, this weapon, which I've always really liked the shape of. I think it's beautiful. The two barrels there are really rad. He is a, I believe it's a called a, a stag? No, a rhino beetle? Or a stag beetle. Maybe a stag beetle. I don't remember. Anyhow, he little simple little beetle, very robotic. Love even the detail on the underside, which becomes the back. Easy to transform. You just unfold the legs, unfold the arms, turn them up, take this whole piece, move it back to reveal the head. Now you can go all the way back like this or like this, but this technically is supposed to appear over his head. So something like that. And take his, whoop, take his gun and just stick it in his hand like that. And he is ready for battle. Articulation-wise, really just the 
the arms, and then he has some articulation in the legs. That is it. He is a Generation 1 figure, so you get even getting just a little bit. Oh, it looks like this fell off the box. Old Target logo, or Target price tag. $6.99 or $5.99. God, I wish they were still that price. Next, let's take a look at Shrapnel. Now, I just recently looked at Shrapnel when I, with the new Legacy version. So I'll just go ahead and take a look. Here is his, his weapon. Unique weapon. Doesn't have a fist. It goes on the outside of his hand, so he doesn't have a hole in his fist. So transforming him is, is very easy. I'm just going to extend the legs. I don't want to pull too hard because this one's really tight. There we go. And then move the feet up. Waist turns around. Take these feet, move them in, and then reveal the head. Almost looks like he's smiling. Again, the chrome. Chrome is a lost art these days. Amazing. I love these guys. Beautiful detail on them. The dark purple just kicks. It's really great. Then, speaking of kicks, kickback. Now, kickback here has the wings. They were dulled on the Diaclone. They are. They do come to a point, but these ones were dulled for safety. You know, you'll poke your eye out. And yeah, it's really cool. Love the again. Love the detail on these guys. Uh, I love how robotic and shiny they look. So just awesome. Uh, transforming him is really easy. Uh, just kind of straighten out his legs. Move the back legs in, which reveal the feet. Take the arms, put the arms together, creating a sort of fist, maybe, if you want to call it that. Down. Down the head. And move the antennas a little straighter up. Head turns around. Giving him neck articulation. Now, for the Diaclone, these get put down like this. But for the Transformer, they go like that. They do have rub sides. For a quick comparison. There they are with Generation 1 Megatron, Generation 1 Optimus Prime, they are with Astro Train, let me get them to stand up, Generation 1 Astro Train, another little small bot, G1 Hound, the, the retro one. All right, and some quick collection notes on these guys. The guys are loaded with chrome, so chrome wear is an issue. Uh, I was lucky to find these guys with very little chrome wear, but it happens. Even on his gun, there's chrome wear. Yeah, it's very difficult to find them with that are in really super nice condition. Uh, some of them have missing parts. Uh, shrapnel here tends to be missing these two little feet, which tend to fall off, so be sure that when you find one, you're, you're looking for that. Just to make sure it's there. Also, the guns, um, the you know, guns get lost. It's, it's really easy to lose all the weapons. But these are excellent figures for a collection. I highly, highly recommend them. I mean, they're just absolutely gorgeous. They fit together as a team. One of the best Generation 1 groups, in my opinion. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. And uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.